Okay, so this treatment is called fomentations. It's, um, it takes time and it takes effort. I, I believe this is why some people don't do it. They prefer doing something simple like taking a pill. But this is so nice and it works and it's so good for your body. Uh, it will bring the congestion from your body, from inside your body out. It will open your pores uh, and it really helps with congestion. So if you have chest congestion or you have any congestion in, uh, on your, in your abdomen, anywhere in your abdomen, or if you have insomnia or problems with stress, you can do fomentation along your back and that will um, relax your muscles or you can do small fomentations on your muscles before massage and it really helps with um, relaxing your muscles. So you're gonna need towels and you can do this at home. So any old towels that you have, you can use. If you have a microwave, you're gonna use the microwave. If you don't have a microwave, you can use uh, something like I have right here or even smaller. And I'm gonna show you how to heat up your fomentations. So you're gonna heat it up, you're gonna, um, this, is, this has to be wet, and you're gonna uh, fold it like this, okay? And this is a, a steamer, so when you put your, your towels inside, this is gonna be boiling water on the bottom, right? And then when you open, you're gonna have steam. So the towels are wet, you can use tongs to get your fomentation out or you can use gloves be very careful and then you can handle your fomentations just like that so the towels are wet okay you get it out and you can work with your towels and you can put more as you work okay so when um, you need to put this under the water under the faucet and wring it really well so it has to be it's not supposed to be dripping you can put it inside a plastic bag and then put it in the microwave for one minute okay when you take it outside the microwave just be very careful when you handle it because you can burn yourself so when you take it out uh, this is good this has to be steaming this is uh, when it's steaming it means it's hot enough for a fermentation all right, so Sarah is going to lay down here. She has a cough, and we're going to treat her cough. So go ahead and lay down. Take your shoes off. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to cover her because she's sick and she feels cold. So I'm going to use a dry towel. This is dry to protect her skin okay and I'm just gonna do I'm gonna do two layers then you bring your fomentation so this is gonna be very hot steaming hot okay I'm gonna put it across her chest all right and then I'm gonna cover with a towel and I'm gonna cover her with a blanket and you always have to ask is that is that okay? It's not burning you? No, it's good. Okay. I can put a towel under her head. I always like to protect my linen, so you can just protect the head. Feels nice and warm. And then always keep the head cool. So you have cold water here. Bring your towel really well and put it on the forehead okay and offer her some drink so the times for your fermentations is gonna stay uh, three to five minutes all right and then you're gonna remove the fermentation and you have cold towels right here you're gonna wring it really well this is very cold I even have some ice in here and I'm gonna get someone is gonna bring me another fermentation uh, and when I remove this, don't uncover abruptly just like that because the pores are open. So you're gonna lift and at the same time, you're gonna put the cold towel and you have to tell her, here, here goes the cold. And 
she's gonna feel okay because she's warm so then I'm gonna do some friction for only 30 seconds okay and then someone is bringing me another one or if I'm next to the kitchen I go and get another one that is really nice and warm and then I'm gonna put another hot fermentation and we're gonna repeat okay if this towel gets too wet or she's getting wet because she's sweating the heat is gonna go across the linen and she's may burn so we need to make make sure her skin is not burning okay so always communicate don't leave her alone be with her are you feeling okay feels good okay are you thirsty you're good okay so just try to um, you know let her enjoy so you can repeat fermentations up to ten times usually three to five times and you can repeat every two hours or three times a day or once a day uh, whatever the patient likes so fermentation is gonna last how many minutes three to five minutes and the friction with cold water only 30 seconds and then another fermentation three to five minutes and then friction and always always finish with cold friction all the time okay so the skin and the and the pores will uh, close up and go back to normal and then she's gonna need what we call and then dry dry her skin really well and at the end she's gonna need to rest okay because her body needs to recover because her body's been working when you do this treatment the body is actually working inside so then she's gonna rest for at least one hour but if you do it at night and then she can sleep it's gonna be the best way to do it